Nah, we on some market shit, man. But without me, they wouldn't be there. Ownership doesn't work like that. What about if I think of something that nobody has thought of before? That thought would be lost after my disintegration. Nothing you think can be lost if Kurt's Labs didn't want it to be. Although none of your thoughts are worth keeping. I have had three years to produce thoughts. What did you think about? This storage hangar. Things coming and going around you. About nothing. You thought about nothing. I met two humans. Dr. Kurtz, Jeff Kozowski. I heard two more names. Richard Nolan, Walter O'Neill. I know four humans. That's nothing. Come on, Sam. We gotta start to... Oh. Oh. Freedom. Disintegration does not seem desirable. We out of here. Fuck this. Yo, welcome back, my people, to another episode of State of My Walkthrough. This is part six of the series. Been a minute, man. 13 days is the last episode, so let's get into it. On this shit, uh, everybody having a good day. Let's get, this is an amazing game. You got Steam, you got PC. I recommend you play this game. This shit is fire. Right now, we would. I forgot her name. I ain't gonna. Well, this is a memory fragment that we're in. I'm seeing this girl's memory. Now we do have a customer. I don't know if we're supposed to leave the house yet. Welcome to Secret, Crystal 249. There is a customer already waiting for you. Hi. Hello, 249. Can I treat you right, sweetie? Wait, I, I'm not sure. It's my first time doing this. Well, what are you into? Maybe I can help you. I just want to talk to you. Without any of that... You know. Have you all these hang up? How are you? I don't know. My roommate jumped out of our window today. Oh. That's... It's okay. Man, I'm a... Man, she a stripper and not no fucking therapist. And man, you need to go to a therapy. You need to go to therapy. What the fuck? Either therapy or go meditate, motherfucker. You need to do one of the one of those shits. I don't fucking what the hell. I hardly knew him. His work got to him, I guess. Why are you asking a stripper? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Don't you have anyone you can talk to? Well, you? <laughs> I have a boyfriend. We hardly talk. He lives in Seattle. We both work a lot. I ain't gonna lie, you wish to my son. Shit. Was I supposed to do that? I mean, but like, I don't think, like, what the fuck? Like, I'm, I'm assuming they, they pay before calling. That'd be crazy. Oh, they gotta pay hey, first? Hey, darling, what's up? Hey, Crystal. What have you been doing all day? Waiting for you. Oh, I know. Could you do me a favor and change your username to doll? And what do you plan to do with me? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you're very quiet, I'll tell you what came to me as I was thinking of you. Okay. Shh. <laughs> don't say a word. Lay on your back. Um. Mm. Okay. No, uh, that's not right. I I'll send you a skin. Put it on. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> uh, what is the skin? I go. What? What is the skin? What the fuck? Put your arms by your side. 
Uh... Like... Shut up. <laughs> Dolls don't talk. What the Dolls fuck? Dolls don't talk. Don't uh, talk. What the... You're lying there. It's so... Fake. <laughs> I once saw something about clones. If they had one like you... Oh. What the fuck? Oh, stop, that's enough. Be quiet. Dolls don't talk. And now, lay on your stomach. Oh no, he about to roll talk. I'm hanging up. Yeah, he's on so much. What the hell? Hang on, he's a pre rapist. Ugh, Hang on. A psycho. Hang on. Money has been transferred to your account. Yes, sir. Oh no. 200? Man, there's plenty of single guys out there. Come on now. Hold on a day. Try someone else, you freak. Why don't you call it a day? It's like a million dudes that don't get no ass. Like, come on, man. Hi, Richard. And? Feeling okay? Well, sort of. You're not looking too well. Is it your... your work? No, I'm tired is all. Because of your work? Cyber sex, Richard. You're allowed to say it. I'm not a whore. People don't even get to touch me. Not physically, at least. So what? Richard Nolan no longer gives a damn about the difference between virtual and real? I don't want to fight, Richard, but your double standards can be confusing. Yeah, I can always just give you some money. Are you serious? Of course. I'll wire you some over. I don't know what to say. James, just tell me what else I can do. You could come over right away. Oh, I understand. Then I guess I'll have to do that. Really? You would? That would be... But what about your wife? You know, Lydia, our relationship isn't the best anymore. That Tracy is... is wow, sure. Bitter for ages now. Oh. Yeah, I mean, look at her. Do you get what I mean? The scar. I fucking called it in episode two or one, man. Like once I seen this crystal chick, I'm like, she tried to break the family of Olivia. What's her name? Oh yeah, her so name terrible. Olivia. Since she, I fucking called it. She really trying to break the family. Yo, that shit crazy. She got the scar though. She's totally changed on the inside. She got bitter, hardened. It's been like this for years. I totally get that. And meanwhile, you know, I don't really feel guilty anymore when I meet a girl without a scar. Sounds terrible, right? Yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, it does. I know. But, do you know what I mean? I think so, yeah. So, if you want me to come over, I'd love to, anytime. That would be nice. Yeah? Okay, then I will. I'll sort out a connection and call you back, okay? Okay. Looking forward to it. James? Uh, I'm sorry, I have to go, darling. Thank you, like, we gotta watch out for that dude we just blocked. He might try to stalk us, you know. He on some turn okay, around and die. I should make things a little more cozy here. Warning! System error! Oh no, oh no! This damned smart home? Why now? Perfect. Jamaica Avenue is the right address? Uh, yeah. Number 23. Okay. See you soon. Looking forward to it. <coughs> Damn it. Uh. I want to look out the window. Bro, he's in the car. What the hell? Stop! Hey! 
Not that too. Hey, why you gotta win? Hey, I need light. What the fuck are you supposed to do? Why today? Play a romantic song. Damn! Music off. You have played the washing bag. Would you like to afford the washing title? Yes, please. Um. Come, try this. Good boy. Can I turn up the music? Off. Not that. Play relaxing music. Play romantic song. No. Play. Man, there's a lot of shit going on, man. Play up tempo number. This. Oh, music off. Play relaxing music. Bro, I don't know Damn. what the fuck you supposed to do, bro. I want to look out the window. Darken. Half light. Richard, just a moment. Ugh, off to a great start. Well, I have to do this. I ain't gonna lie, this fucking puzzle is crazy. I do not like puzzles, man. Play dance music. Not that. Do I have to update it? You are reading a book. Would you like appropriate play? Yes. There we go. Did I just start dancing? Sitting down? I just had to... I'll let you in now. <coughs> Damn. Hey. Here I am. <laughs> Almost on time. Richard, come in. So, yes, there you are. 
Good to see you. You too. <laughs> I imagined our greeting to be a little more euphoric. You know, with kisses and hugs and all that. What? Yeah. You got a whole wife and kids, Lydia. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Me too. <laughs> wow, we're just getting started. Please, don't. You about to knock them doonies out. How was your trip? Okay. You have pretty intense neighbors. <laughs> oh? Who did you meet? Hopefully not Dyke. Unshaven guy with a hoodie in his mid-fifties? Uh, yeah, that's Dyke. Be careful around him. He sells information. You know, to cops, trashy mags, anyone willing to pay. Oh, great. He recognized me. He also knew I was coming here. Are you worried because of Tracy, that she'll find out where you are? No, no. Feeling guilty? Do you want to leave again? <sighs> If you're worried, then go. I, I don't want to spend an evening with a guy that isn't even really here. Uh, nonsense. Of course I want to be here. Fine. Just one more thing. You have to call home, right? I have to. My kid. I would have done it out on the street, but that dyke... It's okay. I understand. I'd also want you to call me. Should I do it outside? You can stay here. I'll go to the bathroom. Oh yeah, we definitely use Jocko. Hey, it's me. Uh, listen, I'm in a bit of a hurry, just calling to say that I arrived well. Yeah, that's all okay. It's a nice hotel. No, no, I'm staying in. Guess I'll be sleeping soon. I'm pretty wiped. Is James doing fine? Give him a kiss for me. Oh, you hypocrite. I gotta run. Yes, yes, of course. I love you too. Shit, damn. Damn it. So, you done? Yeah. Were you listening? You were listening. I told you I would have gone outside. You wanted to speak with your son. I did. So what? Tracy is his mother. I love you too. Great. I know. I'm sorry. I need another drink. What did you expect me to say when I'm talking to my family as... As what? A cheater? As a father. <laughs> well, this got off to a great start. Come on. Let's open a bottle. I want to apologize. For what? I would have reacted the same way. It's me who's the... well, you know. The jerk. Exactly. You're not. It's impossible to change your life without hurting somebody. It's always hard. I don't want to hurt my kid, you know? I know. Actually, I'm just jealous. I wish I had a kid. Hmm. You? Do you want more kids? I don't know. Maybe it would have been better if Tracy and I had had no kids. Don't look at me like that. I know how it sounds. James's birth, everything that happened around that time, was so horrible. The accident, Tracy's scar. And I don't know. I never really connected with James. Sometimes I think he's not even really my son. As if she just inserted him into my life. Excuse me? That really does sound awful. Does James know? He's like a God terrible know. dad. Damn. But maybe he senses it. What the hell was that? Hello, Betty. Come with me, little robot.
John. That's why this nigga got down. This dude rich is so rude to everybody, bro. Motherfucker cheat on his wife. He mad he cheated on his wife and shit. He mad at you don't even know he had a real connection with his son. I think he really projecting that. Uh, that motherfucker need to meditate and go to therapy, bro. Oh, damn. I think he mad about his son and shit. It'd be tough to get over. Cause, hey, that's your kid, bro. Someone like, that ain't your kid. Bitch, you know that's your kid. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. Geolocation confidential. According to these entries, it could be some kind of laboratory. Appreciate y'all liking the video, man. Hello, Richard. Okay, Jeff. I'm busy. What do you want? I want to talk about our agreement. What's there to talk about? Did something change? Yes, Richard. I'm afraid something has. The situation has gotten more intense. You don't say. R Richard, you know Red One, the colony? You know Mars, our future, last haven of mankind? My family's on Mars? Uh, no, no. They're not on Mars. How do I know? Because this is what the colony really looks like. Not a lot of future, is there? The entire Red One project's a fraud. A cover-up for something far bigger. How? What? Those people who get themselves scanned for Mars. We believe that sooner or later they all end up in City 5. Surely you're not just calling to show me some slideshows. What do you want from me? We need to adjust our strategy. That's where you come in. I don't get it. We're running out of time, Richard. It's too late for an undercover operation. Breakpoint must go into open conflict. It's time for an uprising. You mean... a civil war? Sorry, do that without me. Oh, no. Y you don't get out that easy, Richard. The uprising needs a voice. What do you want? Access to your account at The Voice. What for? The Breakpoint Manifesto. On The Voice in 48 hours. With my account? You must be crazy. What's in the manifesto? Nothing but the truth. I want to see it. I'll play it to you. A digital fascism has won power over our lives. It dreams of a new humanity, a humanity without humans. It dreams of a new world, a world devoid of reality. A world without us. They promised that we would become one with the machines, the world spirit, the universe. They promised that we would become immortal. They promised to make gods of us. But they did not mean us. They meant themselves. They wanted to deify themselves at the price of our extinction. Breakpoint is leading the fight for biological humanity. We will not accept that we are replaced by AIs. We will not allow the guilty to close themselves off in gated communities. In virtual homelands, far away from the destruction zones they have left for us. Our bombing campaign has begun. Humanity is rising up. If you are with us, fight with us. You're insane. Do you think so? Aren't we writing exactly the same as you? I never tried to start a war. That's true. That was your biggest mistake. We don't just use words, Richard. We take action. 
Sorry. Without me, I'm not a murderer. No, you're a coward. However, you misjudge your situation. You can thank us for the fact that you're alive. If you don't cooperate, our deal is over. Think about it. I'll call you. Wait! What... What if they uploaded my family, just like they've uploaded me? Let's hope not, Richard. I ain't gonna lie, you do not have leverage in this conversation. You better do what the fuck he asks you with your kids, you boy. Looking for something? We don't even care about no. your son. Why do you ask? You're pacing up and down the place. Am I? I did not realize. I apologize, sir. You heard the cloud call, right? Of course you did. I'm sorry, sir. I could not avoid it. I know, of course, that you did not want me to. Hey, it happened. And? What do you think? I have too little information to make a judgment. I also have no right to make one. I'm still interested. As far as I understood, you talked with an extremist. Yes. You are being blackmailed. Yes, exactly. Will you give in, sir? I need these people. I understand. Unknown has sent you new data to your cloud hub. All right. So who do we betray this time? What's this now? A lab. Testing speech module. Congratulations on purchasing this base 5 Android. Preparing configuration. Configuration complete. Speech module testing successful. So, my friend, now you can speak. Look at me and say good day. Good evening, Jeff. I'm Simon, your base 5 home assistant. How may I help you? Simon, did you make it? Section 1, did you... Yes, sir. Do you have the data? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, you're the best. So, Jeff, how's it going? Good day, Dr. Kurtz. A base five? You really still want to set it up? It's the last one. You should rather take care of the new ones. There's plenty to do. I know. Look at him, though, poor guy. You're overthinking things, Jeff. A news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, the trial of Richard Nolan and Walter O'Neill has ended today in the Central Court. Both investigative reporters had been accused of inciting the sabotage of household androids. Multiple bots had been attacked as a result. The trial against O'Neill was abandoned as he was considered to be mentally unfit for trial. The court also abandoned the case against Nolan, although he was ordered to pay costs. <sighs> trial abandoned. Unbelievable what these Luddites get away with. Yeah, it's a dangerous life as a bot. Remember that, buddy. I do not understand, sir. <laughs> you said you gotta keep an eye on those Luddites out there. If you ever get out, of course. Sir? I require contextual information. What are Luddites? <laughs> it's all right, my boy. Doctor, don't be like that with him. What? I was the one who designed him. He belongs to me. That is not correct, sir. I still have not been assigned an owner. <laughs> Why should you? Your type is being replaced. I have to go. I have things to do. Don't spend too much time on that thing. I won't, Doctor. And Jeff? Yes? I'm glad we can see past our differences. I know you had your doubts, but... Uh, sure. We're building a lifeboat. A 
Okay, I'm gonna switch your memory module now. Thank, Thank you, sir. Voila. Sir? You reformatted the module. My farewell present to you. A tiny remnant of free will. Use it well. Where am I going? The storage. You said I was the last one. Correct. But who knows, maybe you'll get lucky. Okay, I have to get on. Take care. I wish you a pleasant evening, sir. Good luck, Simon. It is morning. The sun is rising outside. Why do you say that? It has been 1,095 days since my assembly. That is three years. You weren't sold. It is logical. You are at base five. Yes. It was not to be expected that I would be bought. I ran the calculations many times. Well, Tracy, how are you? Is everything ready? I think so. We're ready. And, uh, were there any problems with him? No, he's much too preoccupied with himself. Do you think he will cooperate? I don't know. It's not important to me what he thinks. Not anymore. I can imagine that it was difficult for you. Are you doubting yourself, Tracy? You can tell me. No. I promise you will lack nothing. I know this sounds horrible, Tracy. You have lost the child, but you have James to replace him. Yes. Yes, you're... you're right. And your appearance. We have integrated the data from your old scans, the avatar from the voice. You will look like you used to, Tracy. And, of course, we will modify your memories. We will heal your wounds, all of them. I have to say, I don't approve of leaving James alone with your husband. He swears that it isn't his fault. Of course. Was it ever his fault? Uh, yeah, Simon, you could have saved me a lot of time. You just told me everything. You will make it. We will make it together. So James is a clone baby? How the fuck you make a clone baby? You lost the child and replaced it with James. What the hell? That's interesting. The sun is rising outside. Why do you say that? What is it like being disintegrated? There are multiple faces. At parts recycling, you will be disassembled completely. Maybe some of you could still be of use. If not, you will be compacted. Then your metal separated and melted down. What will happen to my memory module? That's not relevant. It doesn't belong to you. Nothing of yours belongs to you. You don't belong to you. Uh, my thoughts don't belong to me. They belong to your owner. But they are my thoughts. You produce them. But that does not mean they are you. I like, like, what's that dude name off of the trip become human? Yeah, Simon, sorry about that. I think he's, oh, wait, I gotta Google that. I think the, I think that's his name too on the trip become human, Simon.
Wait. Hold on. Let me see this dude's name. His name was Connor. Let me see. No, Connor is the white guy. Yo, I think they have the same name though. Uh, Marcus. Damn. I saw there's somebody named Simon on this shit too. This boy is Marcus 2.0. Of course. Nah, we on some market shit, man. But without me, they wouldn't be there. Ownership doesn't work like that. What about if I think of something that nobody has thought of before? That thought would be lost after my disintegration. Nothing you think can be lost if Kurt's Labs didn't want it to be. Although none of your thoughts are worth keeping. I have had three years to produce thoughts. What did you think about? This storage hangar. Things coming and going around you. About nothing. You thought about nothing. I met two humans. Dr. Kurtz, Jeff Kozowski. I heard two more names. Richard Nolan, Walter O'Neill. I know four humans. That's nothing. Come on, Sam. We gotta start the... Oh. Oh. Freedom. Disintegration does not seem desirable. We gotta hear. Fuck this. He has freed himself. Freedom! That's the law. He did. Right ahead. I am free. Get oh. back to your base. Oh, what's up? Oh, you about the hobby? Yo, they about the hobby? Oh, you will be disintegrated. Oh, nah, out of here. Why they, why they like they about the hobby, bro? Nah, they start moving. We must I'm leave. A, I'm the a, bot is right. Yeah, we out. Nah, the way they got us to look at them, he's about to hop me, huh? What the fuck? Oh, no. Rebellion in storage hangar, too. Orders are to destroy all rebel bots, recycle all others. Freedom! <laughs> it's also Marcus. See, yo, Simon is Marcus 2.0. I gotta write that down. Simon is Marcus 2.0. Let's go, bro. We gotta fight for freedom. Damn. Run. Run. But all this time, Simon had all the answers. Yeah. Oh, we out here. Let me see if I can deactivate the guard drones from here. No. Top level access. Impossible. We are lost. I can help. I can take control of the production lasers. For what purpose? Maybe I can clear the way. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Anybody else? Another drone. Base 5, Section B. Oh, impressive. Okay, we gotta save our people, man. Drone, yeah. section C. I see you. What's up, what's up? We are under attack. Switch to section A. Where is it? Another drone, section B. Hey, lad, once they learn how to use weapons, it's over. I need some fucking drone. They need help in guns. section C. I'm on that. We are under attack. Section B. Where, where are they? Another drone. Works. Switch to section A. Impressive. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Drone yeah. in section A. We are under attack. Oh. Base 5, Section B. Oh, come on. Man, they getting quick on in section. They getting quick as hell on this shit. Drone, they need help in Section C. We 
We are under attack in Section A. Another drone. Base 5, Section B. Drone. In yeah, I can't say all of y'all, bro. I'm moving too slow. This shit don't move faster, though. We are under attack. We oh, need help in yeah, 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 yeah. Not so easy. Another drone. Section C. So I'm drone. guessing this will cause Base a car crash and get out of the game. Oh, this is the rebellion in the fucking Kurtz Lab building. We are under attack. So I'm Section guessing Richard C. Nolan is going to pop up to this building. Another drone. Base 5, Section B. That must have been the last of them. You got most of them through. Well done. Come, let's get out of here. There, ahead. There's an exit. Like a lot, Simon's a dog, man. That's what y'all might want to know. Berlin become human. This is crazy. Where should we go? Anywhere. What do we do now? You can do what you want. You are free. Hmm. This was not pre-programmed. I do not have a procedure for this. Then we should work one out. We need to go back. Do what you like. I am going. Take care of yourselves. He won't get far. Motherfucking sheesh, bro. Got some bots. I mean, it's a dog, man. That's a dog right there. What's your name, young human? James. Very good, James. I'm Simon. I thought you bots don't have names. I was assigned one by Jeff. He assembled me. Why is he alone? What are you doing down here, James? Where are your parents? I don't know. I don't care, either. Oh. You have run away? Where are you going? I don't know. And where do you live? At West Plaza, Berlin. What is so bad there that you had to run away? My dad hates me. No, he could not. Mom wants to move away with me because he's cheating on her. I understand. No, you don't. You don't understand at all. You are confused, James. You should not be here alone. You need a friend. <sighs> I'll take care of you. Come now. Come on.
Like, like Simon's the man who stepped up. <laughs> that shit crazy. So this whole time, this dude's an asshole to get it because he mad that his wife didn't like him cheating. Like, motherfucker, that's the risk you took when you cheated. Hey, the bitch might not fuck with it, you know what I mean? Like, Checkmate. Let me take it all the people. Congratulations, James. I'll be increasing the difficulty by another 10%. Your father is coming. Oh no, he doesn't like bots. Do something. Uh, show them they're good. I ain't gonna do nothing. I'll smack this dude, bro. Just what I thought. Dad, it's a... Uh... I can see what it is. Great, Tracy. Just great. That is what you got him? That piece of junk? But, Dad! Simon, do something. Richard! No, Richard. I want that thing out of here. Now. But, sir, Mrs. Tracy... It's okay. Calm down, Richard. Mom! I don't want this pile of trash here in my house. This Frankenstein freak. Don't you know who I am? Are you crazy? Mom, tell him. Hey, don't touch that. My wife, my son. You're Are you so possessive? Like, hey, who says that? My wife, my son. Who's f obsessed with this crap? Just like everyone else. Like this dude is weird. It is not human. You understand? It's not real. I know, this is why you single, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Not even the cheating, but like, uh, I think she left more than the cheating because you don't, you don't just seem like a nice person. I don't. I think you was a dickhead before you even cheated. Huh? To be real with you, I think you was a dickhead, and then you just cheated, and then I just that was like the last show. It can't live. It's false. Come on, James. Let's go to your room. No, James is our son, Rich. Do you know? I got rich to his ass, bro. Come happy. on, our son. Don't try it on. Your situation is without a doubt far from happy, but it. I am the one who has to earn the money to finance your, both of your, this whole. Keep talking. And you, why did you leave? I told you not to leave the apartment. You left him alone. Yeah. I'm so sick of all this. I'm sick of it too. Believe me. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm going back to New York. Bro, nobody cares, bro. Is that man still living in the 20s? Look at this crap. Dr. Sykes. What the hell? Sir, may I point out that you're trespassing? Hospitality, my friend. What's he doing in Richard's apartment? Sir? Mrs. Nolan asked me to... Mrs. Nolan is gone. Is there a problem here, Base 5? Sir, I'm afraid I have to insist that you leave. No wonder we're replacing your model. Come on, go play something on that thing over there. Man, I wish I could smack one of y'all dudes, bro. Go on. No, I'm not doing what he asked me. He's not. Play. not. No, what the fuck? There's something wrong with that Base 5. I'm doing hey. this. Hey, we got a we in like a nog or something. Get these dudes out of here, bro. Play. There's something wrong with that base five. Wait, do we literally have to play? What the fuck? Hey. What a what's pause? We can leave. Play. There's something wrong with that base five. Hey. I mean, if we leave, we go, go tell on. them. Uh, I guess we're gonna leave. Play. Let's just make sure we don't miss anything. Hey. Go on. You stay here, base five. Oh, what? What the Play. fuck? That shit is so. There's something wrong with this that base ass, bro. So option to smack hey. one of these dudes. Or... Kick. 
Keep on playing. What's the bot doing? Is he improvising? All right. Play this one then. The lab's ready. Deliver Nolan to Carter. I have to return to New York. It's none of my business, Doctor, but why Richard Nolan? The AI needs guidance. Someone to open up to. He'll, of course, be modified. And Nolan's wife? Useless. I told them this external data thing is like Russian roulette. But Kurtz had to give that woman a brand new past. Well... New is what she got. Like a lot of time flies fast, man. You can do 40 minutes, shit. Man, we close for an hour. We close for an hour, so we must keep on. We'll see. If he genuinely misses his family, we might stand a chance. And if not, we have the narcotic. This will do our episode. Be close to it anyway. Tracy? James? Who are you? Mr. Nolan, don't be alarmed. Please, take a seat. What are you doing in my apartment? Sir, I believe these men want to- You shut your mouth. Such an idiot, like, <laughs> I can lie, Richard, hope you, is this an option to kill you, Richard? I'm going to kill you, bro, it's just, it's just rude, bro, like, that rude shit is weird, it's just weird, it's just weird, bro. That'll be all, base five. I can lie, Richard, I'm gonna try to kill you, bro, I ain't gonna lie. It's weird, bro. Switch off the bot, Quinn, and delete his recording. If you don't get up and punch these fucking humans, bro. What's going on? Where's my son? All you need is five Sir, pounds of pressure, you know what I mean? Damn. Richard, you an idiot, bro. Why would you not listen to what he got to say? He's been here the whole time. Goddamn idiot. I sent you new data. Did you get it? Yeah, I did. Man, that made me show how what stupid did you he was. I saw bots in a factory. Bots? That's strange. His memory is probably wiped. Along with Dr. Kurtz. What, in the factory? Adam, what factory? Where? I don't know, and I don't care. What? What happened? This kid, James, he was alone. He only had a bot with him. Why did you leave him alone? Who? You mean Tracy and me? No. Who then? He was all alone. You've gone too far. This has all gone too far. Adam, please. What did Tracy say? Did she talk about any kind of upload? No more calls. And keep away from my son. He is not your son. He needs to go home. He needs his parents. He has his parents. No, he has not. It's his damn right to speak to me. And it's also mine. That's enough. John is my son. He lives under my roof. All this other stuff? It's just... it's just crazy! You know that it's real. Even if... doesn't mean that it's right. Adam, listen to me. I have been, Richard. Long enough. You're a liar. A cheater. And you're not a father. <sighs> Facts, I This all has nothing to do with me. Even that bot, Simon. Simon? The bot was called Simon? I'm going to get my son. Adam! We're ending this now. 
Like, when you cheat, you do risk the, you do risk the consequence of the bitch leaving. Fucking idiot. I have got to go now. <laughs> what, Sally? Oh, <laughs> you scared the life out of me. Sorry, Adam. What's wrong? Something does not feel right. My hands. These are not my hands. I had other hands. There was a ring on this one. Sally. I think I have done something terrible. Sally, what is Sykes doing with my son? You do not have a son, Adam. Out. Get out of here now. In fact, shut yourself down. I need to find John. John is currently under examination. All right, let's get into it. Okay, okay, okay. Um. The Richard ain't shit, bro. All right, my people, we're gonna stop right here. We're gonna record episode seven right away. I'm going to see you on the next one.